Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. Super excited to get into your message. Today we're going to be looking at what the universe is trying to show you in this current moment. So let's start with this deck. Of course, any information you need will be listed below. So just check there if you want to follow me on Instagram. If you want a personal reading with me, a phone session, a video reading, I have a whole bunch of readings listed on my website. So just check that out below. And let's see what the universe is trying to show you, Capricorns. So we have the thinking man here in reverse. And the universe is trying to show you that this is now not the time or this is not the time right now <laughs> to be allowing yourself to be in your head in a way where you're being consumed with the what ifs in not a positive sense okay if we're talking about the what ifs in terms of the good things that could happen for you let's go there but if we're talking ourselves out of the big decisions that we want to make the good decisions that we want to make the what if the fear of what could go wrong could be what's stopping you from being in this light of success and glory uh, also, Spirit is trying to show you that this is a time to come out of stress or overthinking. If you have been letting certain things stress you out or worry you, uh, there is nothing to worry about. Okay, the universe is taking care of it behind the scenes or it's already been taken care of. Okay, let's keep going. We also have the cornucopia and the thinking woman. So now we have the thinking man <laughs> and the thinking woman, which would be the queen and king of swords if we were in the regular tarot, okay? Interesting. So um, yeah, spirit is trying to show you that all the blessings that you could be looking for, okay? All the opportunities you're looking to manifest could be on the other side of your worries, on the other side of your anxiety, okay? If it doesn't scare you, is it big enough? <laughs> is it a big enough goal? Okay, your goals need to scare you a little bit in order for you to be uh, pushed out of your comfort zone. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's like your spirit guides are trying to push you out of your comfort zone. The universe is trying to push you out of your comfort zone here. Okay. Um, we have a woman holding the heart. We have a lot of people cards or archetype cards here. My freaking bracelet fell. Um, uh, continuing. Yeah. So it's a lot of archetype cards here in the sense of you guys um, needing to tap into like different energies. So this is also being more sympathetic or not even sympathetic. I don't think that's the word I want to use. This is being, this is being in a space of comforting yourself. Uh, the universe is showing that you guys need to be in a space of comforting yourself, uplifting yourself a little bit more, because where you guys have been more serious may have been more logical as of recently. That may have came with a lot of, I need to do this. I need to do that. Why is this a problem? Um, I need to fix this immediately. Instead of giving yourself a level of grace and compassion. So compassion is more so the word I want to use, not sympathetic um but let's pull from this deck and see what other messages are manifesting so capricorns what is the universe trying to show you what is the universe trying to show you so we have a rainbow which represents hope so there is there is still hope that's what the universe is trying to show you. And this goes right back into what I was just saying about being compassionate to self and knowing that, yes, there has been some things that you guys have gone through, but that doesn't mean that now your life is just at a halt and your life cannot continue. If anything, this just means that you guys um, have the opportunity to manifest more for yourself after certain endings may have transpired. Um, this is a breakthrough period for you guys. That's what the universe is trying to show you. They're trying to show you, you guys are on the brink of, of change, of things being completely different for you. And it's a matter of you guys getting focused, uh, getting into a space of believing in yourself, okay? Oh, we also have Flamingo Fun. So it's time for you guys to have more fun. It's time for you guys to prioritize 
you outside of just being so caught up in work, work, work and handling responsibilities, okay? The universe is also trying to show you that Hmm, there may be a need for you to redefine what fun looks like for you, okay? And that's very specific for certain people watching this, like redefining what fun looks like. Or getting in tune with your inner child too. Like if you're a creative watching this, the universe could be trying to show you that you need to find ways to integrate fun with what you have going on within your business, things like that to kind of spruce it up. And we have dice, which represents chance. So the universe is also trying to show you that you may be needing to take a chance on yourself. I was just saying, I, I, I got the same card for, I believe it was Taurus, and it was the same kind of like storyline. So Spirit is trying to say you guys need to take a chance on what you guys have been contemplating on for a minute, what you guys have been um, in a space of decisiveness internally, but outwardly it could be hard to take that first step to you know go after what you could be really wanting to do here okay okay um let's pull from this deck capricorns i'm sorry guys if i got the sniffles okay my nose is acting up the energy around my Capricorns. Okay, so we have Wandering Path. It says enjoy the journey. So the universe is trying to show you that you're on the right path. It's just, yeah, there could be some destinations along the way that could be um, full of lessons, understandings that you're more so supposed to be taking from these experiences than more so like harboring onto, holding onto. Okay, this is enjoying the journey itself instead of looking for the outcome to be your source of happiness or the sense of you like, okay, this is not waiting until you get to the end of your journey to feel complete because with life, there is no such thing as the end of the journey. The end of the journey doesn't even really exist. Even when we pass on from this realm, we still have a journey that supersedes this this earthly plane but um this is like finding joy within the journey instead of looking for some sort of like magical endpoint to reach okay and that's what the universe is trying to show you is that yeah you've you've taken some interesting stops along your way but you're on the right path we also have overcoming obstacles you can overcome anything so yeah, they're trying to confirm to you that you guys are capable. If you guys have been experiencing certain obstacles or challenges that have been just like mind boggling or just complex in its own way, spirit is showing you your own strength. Okay, how will you know how strong you are if you are not in the midst of obstacles? And that's what the universe is trying to show you. Okay, you guys can overcome any obstacles that you guys are faced with. And a lot of you have su uh, successfully, excuse me, done this um, within like the last month or so, you guys have successfully overcome heartbreak, successfully overcome financial struggles. Whatever this is, um, this is what the universe was trying to get you to see is that you guys are very much capable. So this is what I see. I hope that this reading was helpful. Capricorns, if you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat, and I will see you in the next one.